Hello, everyone. Anything to anybody? Hello. Okay, good morning, everybody. David here, and I have El Nino with me. El Nino, I don't know what you want to share with the audience and what you don't, so why don't you just give me a brief introduction on, on what you want to say on who you are, where you're from, and uh, your background, if you could. Well, uh, And welcome, by the way. Oh, thank you. Well, it's it's lovely to do that again. Uh, I don't do that quite often, but uh, thank you for the nice, uh, kind introduction. The thing is, um, I was born uh, in, uh, well, it, it's kind of like a, a long story short, but basically I was born early 80s um, uh, and uh, for multiple ethnic background. Um, I grew up uh, obviously in Israel, and um, when you were born uh, in Israel, uh, no, I, oh. I I was actually like we moved over there when I was a little boy from the states. Uh, when when I was a little boy, oh, uh, you're born in the United States. States? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I the, didn't know so that. Post World War Two, no, I, I think in past interviews I mentioned it by passing or maybe like talked about it a bit. But the thing is, post World War Two, my grandparents migrated from all over, so. Yeah, so by heritage. Which, which state to, were you born in? Uh, Illinois. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is nowadays, uh, God help us. Like, uh, I wouldn't like to be there right now, that's for sure. Okay. Um, the thing is, uh, since I was a little boy, uh, brothers, sisters, we were all uh, going, um, uh, obviously, like, and, and we were raised in Israel. And uh, obviously, part of uh, being an Israeli national uh, is that, like, once you finish uh, after, obviously, elementary, mid-high, high school, in the age of 18, 18 and a half, you got to kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say mandatory because that, that won't be the right definition. It's more like compulsory. Mandatory, it's kind of like more like a voluntary recommendation by the dictionary definition. So you got a compulsory draft to the military. The only ways you can... Um, basically avoid that is um, if it's on the good side if is that's if you got um, let's say uh, certain other ways to contribute to to the to the state or if you an uh, an exceptional academic if you're going to study something if you continue into college university and so on and so forth the is thing it two, is two, two years no or one year uh, well, the, the, the service in the military. Mm -hmm. Neither, what's what's no. required? Uh, for, oh, so for the men, for for any any role, any capacity, it's three years. Back in my wow. time, yeah, that that's how much we have to sacrifice. Three years of our life to go and serve the country. Unfortunately, that was was deemed necessary uh, for the regular based army. I'm not talking about, um, I'm talking about like, like the regular army plus. And this is uh, full time, not part time, right? Yeah, it is full time, full time. And, and again, depending on how you serve and, uh, wow. I mean, like what role are you playing? Is it just a job tour when you ending up every day at home or every weekend or, or if it's, a uh, uh fighter combatant support when um, it's kind of like uh, two, three weeks in, one week out. And then the fighters, the combatant of different units, battalions, regiments, divisions, uh, special forces units, um, you ending up uh, uh, sometimes not seeing home for weeks and months and maybe. So did you always... actually did you actually serve three years for the IDF, the Israeli yes, Defense Force? Yes, I have. I have in the 92 battalion of uh, Samson. That, that no, back then it was a mechanized. Had, sorry, but you had the option not to do that because you're a U.S. citizen, correct? No, not really. Not really. I, 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 well, yeah. Uh, the thing is, I could have like left. I could. But have, you like, could have just stayed in the United States. But the, yeah, but obviously, when I I moved when we were little children. And the concept was, okay, you, it, there, there was always, there's always that, I'm not going to say brainwashing because like we weren't dummies mm -hmm. on the one hand, mm -hmm. uh, my father may so rest in heaven, educate us properly that even when we are 
going to do that. Like, we're not going to be one of those, you know, brainwashed, okay, one-sided, narrow narrative. I, I, I get it. I mean, I, I was a young person who actually volunteered to go in the military. So how stupid is that? So, but I didn't, the I was a completely different person then. So. Exactly. But also like fresh out of the high school, like an 18 year old um, going into, let's say, uh, somewhere like, I, I wasn't going to up and leave and say like, okay, I got another passport. Why don't I just get the hell out of Dodge? Well, I just want to, I just want to nail down the time frame. So you're born in Illinois. So how old were you when you moved to Israel? About five. five so five. Nine. Okay. So yeah, you're a tiny, tiny. Yeah. So you lived in Israel from the time you were five to how old? Um, to beginning of thirties. The beginning of thirties. Oh, 30s. long time. Most yeah, of your now, life. Most nowadays, of your life. actually, I actually I had my. Uh, I got into my 40s in, in last September this year. Mm -hmm. I remember, yeah, yeah, you're telling me that, yeah. So, um, yeah, so. Okay, all right. So that, that so the, the reason I'm asking this is because, you know, you obviously understand Israel. <laughs> I do, and then some from, from different angles. And the thing is, the thing is that, like, I, I'm not going to, whether if it's the local Israeli passport or another foreign passport, like like let's say the American one, I wasn't gonna take my passport and then like say, okay, uh, I'm 18 years old, I got a few uh, uh, dollars or euros or whatever it is to my name. I'm just gonna just a tiny bit. I'm just gonna up and leave, and I'm gonna go back to the states and and then be with who? Do what? Yeah, I understand. Well, you know, I just want to. Project. I've met a lot of Israelis or yeah. quote unquote Jewish people who have lived in Israel and were sure. born someplace else, right? Uh, dozens over the last 10 years. And I've met them in other countries and in the United States. And, but, and I've had, you know, I've never been to Israel. I've wanted to go, but I haven't gone. And I, because I like to see things with my own eyes. Because when I've discussed this topic, Israel and, you know, the challenges of Israel being located where it is, yeah. every, and I'm talking every, every single person that I've spoken to when it came up to the Arabs or the non-Jewish non people who live there, all of them. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's chat on WhatsApp. But uh, El Nino, thanks for joining me. And um, yep, um, I, I really want to get into more in terms of, you know, your experiences uh, in Israel and, and how and how most uh, people over there, you know, view what's going on. OK. 100 percent, David. And, uh, All, right. All right. Have a great day. Cheers, buddy. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye now. Take care and you enjoy. You too.